Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Nick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 5, New York. I know you're the one who had my ingredients change. You can't accuse me without proof, dear. That could get you in trouble. Never mind her. We're going to win this war no matter what. But who's gonna be the castle, Tito? Look, Seth, I already did told you. I don't want to stand between you and Mariel. Your conflict is yours. Getting involved could affect my public image. This was also your responsibility, Katie. You're responsible for your ingredients. Don't you realize that they set a trap for me? I don't understand why you're so angry at me. Why? Really? I'm trying to reason with you, but I see you don't understand. I am I feel I'm being used to wage a private war, and I'm sick of it. I promise to find out what happened with those ingredients. I hope so. That's what happened when you deal with a selfish person. How could they change my ingredients like that? I'm sure Mariel had something to do with it. I don't know. There were a lot of people here. Maybe I made a mistake myself. What if it was my fault? I'm such a fool. I wasn't accusing her. Why did she get offended? It's her birthday today and you forgot. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm such a bad person. I feel so bad. Don't worry about it. You had no way of knowing. I'll see how I can make this make this up for her. Excuse me, Katie. Can we talk? Hello, Seth. Yes, let's go outside. I think Mariel was in fact the one who boycotted you. That was obvious. But I need you to keep fighting. We have to make an effort. Mariel and Pamela are willing to play rough. I don't know if I'm willing to put up with their moves. Don't give up now, please. We've invested a lot of time and money on this. You think I don't know that? If you want to give up, tell me now. Because in that case, I'll have to stop everything. Plus deal with my frustration. Let me process this a little. Don't take too long, please. Hi, babe. Seth, this is Adam, my boyfriend. Nice to meet you, boyfriend. I have to solve a small crisis with Sue. I can't talk to either of you now. Excuse me. Well, I think my visit was not very fruitful. Neither was mine. I'm worried about Katie. Yes, me too. Do you have time for a coffee? Sue, happy birthday. I didn't remember it was today. Thanks, Katie. I'm sorry if I was rude to you before. I didn't mean to blame you for what happened. Not at all. Seth just confirmed it was Mariel who did it. That woman is capable of doing something like that. According to Seth, she's capable of that and much more. Well, if that is so, are you really willing to face her? I'm not sure yet, but enjoy your birthday. Forget about my problems and enjoy your birthday. Anyways, I know you'll overcome this new challenge as usual. I made you a reservation for two at Sterling today. Sterling? That's my favorite restaurant. But it's so hard to get a table there. Unless you kitty. I know. That's why I spoke to the owner, a friend of mine. Tonight's dinner is my birthday present for you. You're the best. Enjoy. You deserve it. Go with George, okay? What a place you have. I didn't know you were in the business too. 
Yes, we are a power couple in love with gastronomy. That's obvious. You could intimate anyone. You know her. Do you think Katie will be able to handle this? Publishing a book is hard. Even more so when you have such a fierce opponents. She's excited about the book. It's a great project. She didn't seem all that excited when I talked to her. She's been having too many second thoughts since Mario appeared. That's your problem. Believe me, Katie never gives up. But she's in the new territory now, so she doesn't feel that firm. Do you think she'll overcome this moment? Of course she will. She gives all her projects her all. No other woman has a, is as determined to fulfill her dreams. You're good with words, you know that? No. I wish someone spoke to me like that about me. Let's become friends and I promise you a heartfelt speech. That's a deal. What a day I've had. I'm exhausted. I noticed from the little attention I got at Mary's today. I'm sorry, honey. I had to talk to Sue and then run off to a press event. And I have a photo session very early tomorrow. I have no peace. It's such a pity you're tired. I thought we have an intense night tonight. In that case, I think I still have some energy left for you, Adam. It's sad how timely. Answer him, I'm not going anywhere. Hi, Seth. I just wanted to say this, I trust you. I talked to your boyfriend and I'm more convinced than ever now. You deserve to publish your book. I'll give you whatever you ask for. For real? Well, thanks for the trust. The only doubt I have is... I know, Mariel. I should have been more clear about her. I'm sorry. But I really do believe in you. And I need us to do this together. I have, have no fear. We will publish your book. Are you gonna handle Mariel? So... Mariel terrifying. Mariel is a terrifying character. I'm not scared of competition, but her instinct of playing, her insisting on playing dirty. I promise to remain attentive and to keep her at bay. I want to take care of you and the project. I won't let her boycott you. Okay, let's move forward then. I will not be intimidated. That's right, that's the attitude a new author should always have. We'll move forward then. We'll meet tomorrow at the studio, right? Yes, yes, I know we have a photo session. Just one more thing. I need that pending day draft first thing tomorrow morning. Oh, sure, of course, the New York story. You'll have it by tomorrow, I promise. With all this, I had totally forgotten about that chapter 2 tomorrow. Right, I forgot about it too. I think our romantic night will have to be cancelled. I have to work. I wish a miracle happened and it wrote itself. Yes, you really want that. Who doesn't want to work? Yes, I'll surprise her with the text I wrote. Okay, this book is gonna be Adam's. As for the miracle you wanted, maybe it did happen. What are you talking about? I took the initiative and wrote the text. I hope you don't mind. Are you kidding me? You're a genius. I don't have to work. Are you glad then? You saved my life. I love you. The truth is that I got really excited writing that story about you and Emily. How did you do it? Where did you get the information? 
I called her and she told me several anecdotes about your teen years. I hope she didn't get into details. What are you afraid of? She didn't tell me anything you should be ashamed of. She better not have. It was sweet to imagine you at the time, so fresh and innocent. Innocent? Really? I'm still fresh, you know. But I've lost my innocent, yes, exactly. Luckily... I slept so well last night. We didn't actually sleep much, did we? True, we didn't. But it was worth every second. Do you want to go back to bed? I'd love to, but I'd be late for my photo shoot. Go ahead then. I'm going to make some final changes to the text. Then I'll send it to Seth from your email account. You have it all under control. You're the best. Good luck with the shoot, beautiful. Seth, what are you doing here? This session will start a little later, so I decided to come pick you up. We could stop by some coffee and talk a bit. Great, I have a few ideas for the cover I wanted to tell you about. Just what I was thinking about. We are synchronized. So who's gonna be in the cover? Adam? What's this? What? 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 I just got an email from you with the text due today. But if you're here now, who wrote this? Well, it's not me, definitely. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you guys on our next journeys.